Hello everyone, what's up? Today in this video, things are gonna be different. Before starting off with the video, I just wanted to ask you guys, do you know how to solve this parody? This is the basic and the simplest algorithm. Just watch this. Or inverted U2 left F2 F left inverted F2 then two times right U2 then right U2 right inverted U2 F2 Right two times and then front So this is a simple algorithm which people use to solve the edge parity So this is the case when you solve the cross and one edge is flipped Now according to the title of this video I'm gonna be showing you something astonishing Which is this parity algorithm can be used to solve any of the cubes edge parity in the sense you can solve the edge parity of the 5 into 5, the 6 into 6, the 7 into 7, the 8 into 8, the 9 into 9, the 10 into 10, up 13 into 13. You'll be wondering how. So here I go. The universal edge parity algorithm. So, that makes sense. so when it comes to the 5 into 5, you would get an edge parity like this, in which two of the edge pieces are flipped. Use the same algorithm right here. But you use the right layer of this and right a left layer in the inner section. So you use the same algorithm right down. Right, invert, right inverted, then U2, then left, then F2, left inverted, F2, then 2 times right, U2, right, U2, right inverted, U2, F2, 2 times right, and F2. So I know that I went a bit fast in this, but this is like very easy to understand. So if you have already um, understood the edge parity, how we do in the 4x4, then it's going to be really, really easy for you to solve the edge parity in the 5 into 5. Now the same case when it comes to a 6 into 6. So when it comes to the 6x6, you get an edge parity like this. So it is simple, you use the same algorithm given over here. You just use the inner right and the inner left over here and the, this algorithm will just uh, flip these two pieces so you use the same algorithm uh, right down u2 left down f2 left up f2 r2 u2 r U2 R inverted U2 F2 and here comes U2 so you have solved this edge piece and now you have no other edge piece left to be solved so as you saw that I just used the same algorithm to solve the even, even the 6 into 6 edge parity this was truly simple what about when it comes to a 7 into 7 when you have an edge parity like this you can see that only these two pieces need to be flipped. So there's one simple way we can flip these two pieces is by using the inner right layer and the inner left layer. So the inner second left layer and the inner right second right layer. So we'll be just using this inner right and in this inner left in the algorithm when I say right, I, I intend to use this right and this left. So here we go with the same algorithm over here. It is right down U2 left down F2 left up F2 right twice U2 right once U2 
write inverted ones u2 f2 write twice and front twice so there you go we have just solved the h parity in a 787 this is very simple there is an other algorithm which is like damn longer than this one but if you have learned this algorithm then you need not learn anything else and you can solve any cube in the world i have just shown the 484 595 606 and the 787 but the same thing applies to even the 8 into 8 9 into 10 and 10 into 10 you just need to understand the movements and understand the algorithm so algorithm is very simple if you are not able to memorize it, just understand the movements, the way they move. It's really simple if you understand the way they move. So that's it for the video guys. If you enjoyed the video and if you understood what I taught you, please give the video a like. And you can find the algorithm in the description below. And also comment down below what you want next on this channel. And if you have not already done so, subscribe to my channel for more. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.